Matt here from Lynn Outdoors. Today we're going to be tying a uh, elk hair caddis, size 14, using an 8 aught brown vivas thread. Start off doing connecting turns all the way down the shank of the hook until we terminate right about the bend in between the point of the hook and the barb. Next up, I'm going to get some uh, copper wire here. You can use uh, copper or gold, really any color that you wanted. You can add a little bit of flare and get some of those brighter colors as well. And we're just going to go ahead and wrap that in. Next up, we're going to be using some microfine dry fly dub in tan. This will be a tan caddis pattern. Feel free to change the dubbing color to fish with uh, different color caddises. Do a nice thin dubbing noodle of our dry fly dub. Again, it compresses down really well. And we'll just start at the back, gently working our way forward. Creating our abdomen. And I do taper it up a little bit in the front of the fly. And we're going to stop just about where we're going to want to mount our wing. So I've left about a sixteen of an inch up front and we're going to select a brown Kehoe saddle hackle for this. You can see I tie it in uh, and we're going to go ahead and reverse this backwards. Nice equal spacing on this. Again, you know, if, if you struggle with that spacing, just take your time and you'll get there. And once we get to the back, I'm going to catch the hackle with our wire and we'll go ahead and counter rib this fly which is going to add durability and secure our hackle all the way throughout the abdomen. You see I kind of changed the, the course a little bit and that's really simply so I can like wiggle that through the hackle tips. So next up we're going to have to mount our wing and that's going to be some bleached elk hair. You want to select about a third of a pencil width and you can see I pull out all the shorts and all the under fluff again which is like a softer fur underneath the coarse fibers on the outside. We're going to put that into our hair stacker and give it a few taps which will help to align all of the tips making our fly look better. Again, so our friends think that we're really cool. Um, trout don't care. Go ahead and brush out anything. And you can see I just I get that wing lined up right where I want it. And I take a soft wrap, a second wrap, and then I begin to flare. And even the third and the fourth, I'll tension slightly more to create that real uh, tented wing that the caddis have. We'll take a whack at the front of these. If you don't like the way it looks, take a second or third whack, clean it up just a little bit. But they all actually fish about the same. A few more securing wraps there for me. And we'll wrap through it a few times. I tend to like a little bit more uh, meat on the front of my caddises just because some of the water that I'm fishing them in is a little bit bigger, riffly, and I feel that it aids my flotation a little bit. It's a great thing about tying your own bugs. A little primping, and uh, we're looking good. So we'll finish it off with a little bit of uh, head cement. And that is a Elkara caddis. Go fish it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.